What's up guys? How are you guys on YouTube today? Well, I got something very special for you guys. Today, I went out to Radio Shack and I picked myself up some new rechargeable batteries uh, for my Kodak uh, camera. I've been having some issues with this uh, little guy here. The uh, battery in this one has completely finally died. Oh, so I did the uh, freeze it method to try to freeze it and I let it thaw all uh, night. I put it in last night. Uh, it still didn't do anything. I was surprised the uh, battery didn't charge. But um, the battery on this one is a bad battery. But <clears throat> I got some good new ones right here. Before I able can use these ones, I had to let these fully charge before I actually use the camera itself. Uh, this will also be my spill uh, vlogging camera. I always use this one because, like I said, this one is a much smaller and lightweight uh, camera. You guys have seen this one before. It's a very nice camera. But the issue is the type of batteries I need or are very hard to uh, find because the whole type of a battery they are. And these are the, this is the Kodak uh, brand. These are the CRV 3 volt uh, uh, battery for these cameras, for this one, anyways. But I picked myself up <coughs> some two new uh, batteries, the rechargeable ones as well. The one in this one is also a rechargeable uh, battery as well. But long, uh, luckily, I have some new batteries. I have two of them, actually, instead of just one this time. This one was my door cell battery. This is a good one as well. But this one has finally bit the dust. But you guys can see it's just worn out over age. And batteries do eventually wear out themselves. There's not much more I can really do to prevent uh, my batteries to wear out. And by the way, this Kodak one is not a rechargeable uh, battery at all. This one's still a nice battery to keep around in case if I actually do need it. But let's go ahead and put the camera off to the side. And let's get into the unboxing of a two brand new uh, battery themselves. That's this my seat. That was the one battery. And that was the other battery. I actually have two batteries. They are rechargeable. By the way, these are, I think, or the nickel hydrate. Yeah, these are the nickel hydrate uh, batteries. Uh, these should be as good as the batteries in the camera originally. And it just has all sorts of own, uh, you know, warranty kind of information kind of stuff on the package. Uh, these batteries are very hard to find now because this is a dish continuum model uh, camera, and so all the batteries are uh, harder to find. And I'm very surprised to actually find these uh, batteries down at Radio Shack anyways. But yeah, uh, this one here is a Dunnel. Uh, this one I'm not going to be able to use. Uh, I left this camera on the dock too long. Apparently it just kept on charging the battery and it shouldn't be charging. But over time, uh, batteries will eventually do die. Uh, I have two for case of sake of the camera itself anyways, but it's better to have two instead of this one, but very hard to find these batteries in all sorts of different stores. But yes, I went to the, to the radio shack in the mall uh, to get these, these all both rechargeable. I'm only going to use one, but I'm going to actually have one as a backup but you can actually buy a separate charger to actually buy uh, to charge these batteries as well but my camera <coughs> the way it works is the battery has to be inside here to actually charge but uh, Kodak used to sell a uh, rechargeable uh, Kodak uh, battery with the dock and the battery itself but that was a little too expensive does for that type of charger, but yes, this is a discontinued model, and so are the batteries are harder to actually seem to find. Let's go ahead and actually open one of these up, and actually see what the actual look like on the inside. Uh, very nice, uh, you know, 
Uh, pretty nice amp valves on them. And the amp valves right up there. But yeah, these all meant to be recharged inside your camera and also inside a dock. Your camera and also inside of a charger. If you even can find the actual charger for these type of batteries, I would recommend going go ahead to do that. Right, let's go ahead and slide these off. And we're just going to close that up. You only need one. We don't need the other one. Because the other one I'm just going to use is a spare battery. But I had to let these actually fully charge before I actually use uh, my camera. This is the brand new spanking new battery here I got for this camera. Not that expensive at all, guys. Uh, very nicely designed and very absolutely nice. And yes, they are all the same size as my original uh, rechargeable battery. And also the original Kodak battery. You guys can see all those different styles batteries. But this one has finally bit the dust. We're going to go ahead and uh, recycle that. I'd recommend <coughs> please recycle your batteries if you have rechargeable ones. And we're going to go ahead and put this in like this. This is a nickel hydrate battery, but it will still fit just fine inside my vlogging camera. Uh, this is my spare vlogging camera, but what happens because the batteries do wear out over time. I was small this time and I bought two batteries. And yes, they don't actually make a charger uh, for these uh, units, just, uh, batteries just yet. But you actually do, you can actually buy them separated, <coughs> but it's up to you which battery you want to go with. I, the reason why I bought two batteries instead of this one is I can swap out uh, both batteries uh, in case if one goes bad, one goes dead, and I can recharge it, swap it out, recharge it, let them drain, uh, like you're supposed to do with batteries. But typically, the batteries do eventually wear down. But, you know what, that's just uh, life with batteries, you know, any type of batteries can uh, wear out. Now, two difference of these, uh, these are lithium ion uh, cell batteries, these are both nickel hydrate uh, batteries, but it will, should still work just fine in this camera anyways. But very nice, I had to put this on the dock, dock, the charging dock. To actually charge the battery first before I actually do any uh, playing around with the battery itself or the camera itself. I want to make sure these batteries are fully charged because typically these batteries won't be fully charged when you actually buy them brand new. And these batteries are not that expensive here, guys. Uh, no, these uh, little guys are not that expensive. It only depends on what type of battery you decide to get for your camera. And yes, I do have a discontinued model of a camera means these batteries are going to be a whole lot harder to find on certain things and definitely in certain types of stores and luckily I just went to the mall went to the radio shack store in the mall and luckily have brand new uh, batteries themselves now each battery is a different style battery uh, like I said uh, each battery will actually uh, fit in this camera, this battery, this battery, and these two actual new batteries. And like I said, the, the battery themselves, they're not the charger, remember. Uh, if you do have the charger, I'm very glad if you do have the charger, you can use your charger with these batteries. But the problem is, because the way these batteries work, is this camera has to work on the dock itself. Uh, for the camera to actually fully charge uh, the battery. My uh, charging dock can actually both do nickel hydrate and also lithium ion batteries. But I have also I would uh, nickel hydrate batteries uh, for my cameras as well. But I try different batteries in here, uh, rechargeable batteries. Uh, sometimes the camera didn't recognize the type of battery you put inside of them. But I'm very happy to actually have my camera back and also the batteries itself. And yes, this actually is a 3-volt uh, camera. This can actually take a 3-volt uh, plug. And that's why I just grabbed these and picked up these two batteries. Because I really need batteries for my camera itself. At least I have two. At least I have a spare battery. 
What's the number one reason on uh, having extra batteries as battle instead of actually having one? You never know when your camera battery is going to go actually dead on you. But this one here is completely dead. I don't know how to survive it. But I'm going to try the trick of zapping this battery to this battery. That I don't know if it's going to work yet. But yes, I did buy brand new batteries. I really thank you, thank you Radio Shack for having these batteries because uh, these batteries are very really hard to actually find in different online stores. Alright guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.